G'day everyone and welcome to Andrew's Art and Models. Today I finally have the build video of the 172nd P47D from Academy with the uh, CMK gun bays and uh, yeah, little extra bits and pieces. I sort of go out all out on this kit. I detail the cockpit up, I detail the engine, which you won't see. Uh, I do a few little mods and uh, a few little extra painting mods you'll see as we go. I do almost destroy it, so I was very lucky to be able to salvage this and you'll see uh, what happens uh, a little bit later on. But uh, yeah, enjoy the build, hope you like it, and I'll shut up for now. So I spent a fair bit of time adding the wires to the engine and detailing up the engine. I was toying with the idea of taking the cowl off and modifying it, I just thought, ah, nah, didn't, I didn't, didn't like the idea after a while. But uh, at the end of the day, a bit of fun detailing it, making it uh, all nice and pretty. You won't see most of the wires and everything once it's in together, but you'll see these little shackles that I put on. Uh, these are mounts that are around the, the front of the engine hub there, and it just looks nicer when you're looking in through the front. Now the uh, wing you can see here, I've just got the motor tool out, I'm sanding it down and then I use a bit of 60 grit sandpaper so it's very uh, heavy grit sandpaper for a plastic model but it's just, I need to thin down the inside of these wings so I can fit in the gun bay. Uh, they are paper thin by the time I'm done. So uh, yeah, cut out the hole, make sure everything fits properly and then sand it all right back and uh, you really need to sand the uh, back side off it to get everything to fit in there. So here we have the 60 grit sandpaper. Make sure that uh, when you're sanding resin parts that you use a particle mask at the very least. Uh, you can see here with the sandpaper I've wet it down and uh, I'm using the water that I've put on there to stop the dust from uh, flying everywhere. So it just sort of makes it sort of claggy I suppose. But it does uh, keep the dust well and truly down and makes it a lot safer and nicer to breathe in an enclosed area.
So one thing I did to this kit uh, was the cockpit. I heavily modified the cockpit on it, and uh, or heavily modified the seat anyway. So I added a little bit of detail in the cockpit, uh, on the instrument panel, things like that. But the seat was really, it was sort of the right shape, but there's a lot of features missing off it. So you can see I've trimmed down the edges there. That's based on a reference photo. There were a couple of different seat designs from different marks and uh, put in some holes at the head in the seats as well just to uh, lighten it up, I suppose, when they were, when they were manufacturing them. And uh, yeah, there's a little bar that runs across the top that had the restraints. Uh, the one that I put on there is too thick, but once again, it's just add a little bit more detail on there. So I'm probably showing my age a little bit with this technique. Um, before the, before everything was photo etched and all these wonderful parts, uh, this is how we used to modify uh, cockpit seats and detail them up and just put in little straps and everything in there. I even put in some little buckles that I made out of that really thin wire uh, that you saw before, but it's so small it's, it's very hard to see on the camera. Uh, the wheel bays were fine. I just wanted a little bit more extra detail in them. So this is not based on anything. It's just, you know, Copy to from both sides just to detail it up, make it a little, little bit more interesting. So here you can see I'm doing the, the uh, zincish green that uh, is typically the colour on the inside of these planes. There are lots of different shades of it, so you know I'm sure someone will go, well, that's the wrong colour. Yeah, well, what's the right colour? Um, you know, it depends what your what your reference is, what year your reference is from, you know, what factory the reference is from, uh, whether it's a colourised photo, blah 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 blah. So I actually worked off a colourised photo and I liked the colour that was in it, so I chose to do that. Later on I changed the colour of the seat um, and I darken the, well not darken, I use this as sort of a pre-shade and then sort of go over with a highlight and you can see here, the lighter colour there, done. So that's what I just spray it over with and the darker colour just sits in the recesses and uh, gives it a little bit more depth.
Now you can see here, this is really the only issue I had with the whole kit, and it's just that the when you put the uh, cockpit tub in, it just seems to sit a little bit low. It's easy to fix though, just move it up, and uh, there's still a bit of a gap, but once you put the canopy on and everything, you won't see it as much. But uh, yeah, it was really the only problem I had with the entire build. Now, if you're wondering why I chose the khaki color over the olive drab, uh, once again, olive drab is one of those colors. That there's so many variations of it. You know, what is olive drab? Uh, I s basically used the box art as a reference for the color that I was going to use. So it was closer to the khaki than than the Atami or olive drab color. Uh, so yeah, we stuck with that. Okay, so this process was a little bit time consuming. Uh, I had to cut all of these squares to 4 by 4 millimeters to match the size of the decals. And then you can see there I'm using a little bit of uh, thin tape there as a guide just to make sure I get the lineup done properly. Uh, it took a little while to do this, but it was well worth it in the end. I think the look is better than uh, what I would have gotten with the decals. Uh, I go back and change it a little bit. So I've do a lot of the tail plane in black and I, it's not really accurate and I thought it was going to look good and I just really didn't like the look of it once I'd done it so I went back and sprayed that uh, with the car key again but uh, yeah this was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be believe it or not. Now I actually managed to get the uh, markings for the tail mirrored on each side so that came up a heck of a lot better than what I was expecting it to. The part you see I'm doing here, what I really should have done was measured that out before I cut it off, cut out the section of the wings and then cut that to shape. That would have been the easier way of doing it um, before I painted it all and got it all assembled. But uh, yeah, didn't think of that.
and this is where disaster strikes so you can see it's a little cloudy in the image there but the whole surface of the top of the kit was cloudy uh, the decals reacted with the paint and it was a TS 13 from Tamiya that I used it was not a problem with the paint it was a problem with me I uh, first of all I applied it a little bit too heavy but the major issue that uh, was the or the major problem was that I sprayed it right after a thunderstorm in summer when the humidity was through the roof so it reacted with everything you do not spray that paint uh, when it's humid outside so this is me salvaging uh, what I can from the model you can see there it's damaged the decals um, I got rid of the one on the wing completely that just disintegrated and uh, I was really panicking about how I was going to fix this uh, I get the 7 almost correct you'll notice there's a little bit missing off it but it's uh, a heck of a lot better than what it was and uh, I salvaged the kit to be honest if I hadn't done all the work with the painting and editing and everything I probably wouldn't have bothered but I was actually really impressed with how it uh, came out in the end So another self-imposed problem was the masking job I did on the canopy. It was absolutely awful. So I had to uh, re repaint that again. That was a horrible job. The uh, browning 50 cals fit in nicely into the wing there. They, they all went in beautifully. The only thing I'd say about this, the CMK kit, is the gun barrels are so small. They are incredibly fragile and I broke every single one of them. So uh, they give you two spares for each wing and I busted every every single one. So uh, be very, very, very careful with them. Ideally, I think next time if I was to do it again, I'd probably buy some um, brass ones and just put use those instead, just to be a bit stronger. Uh, drilling through the wing, removing the original guns and then drilling through the wing was not too bad. Uh, I think a drill press would be quite handy in the future. I might uh, invest in one of those just to line up the holes a bit neater, but uh, it worked out well. Now these watercolour pencils uh, are actually quite interesting, I've uh, decided to give these a, a bit of a try and I apply them dry to sort of use them as uh, highlights. Uh, 
what you really should do is sort of dampen it with a bit of water and, and spread it across the surface that way it's more of a watercolor pigment so if you're sort of looking at them and you're sort of not too sure how to, to work them just experiment a little bit you can see I do a little bit of uh, highlighting and things with them just to uh, play around with them have a bit of fun but to, to get a much more uh, consistent flow out of it I suppose you'd say you, you do need to dampen it and it uh, you'll see it sort of disintegrates fairly well and spreads across the surface fairly well that's if you want to uh, do larger areas with them and with the aerials put on I am calling this done so uh, this kit is going to be another premium model giveaway so for the premium subscribers remember to enter for uh, 2020 it is $11 US and uh, I'll put a link to the video about premium subscriptions uh, later on but this will be one of the kits that we'll give away uh, for the premium subscribers so uh, I hope you like it it was a heck of a lot of fun building this thing this is going to be entered into a model show as well so we'll see how it goes at uh, the Australian International Model Show, I believe it is, in uh, Sandown, Victoria. So we'll see how that goes when it comes around. I'm hoping it uh, will get at least a commended, would be my, my hope. It would be nice. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, yeah, keep coming back. We're going to have a lot more for you.